I have a question for you. Can you borrow me your car? Hmm, borrow me, borrow me. Do I want to say borrow or lend? Hmm, do you know? Do you know the difference between borrow and lend? Because that's what we're talking about in this video and definitely by the end of this video, you'll be able to use borrow and lend easily and naturally. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. Now, let's dive in with this lesson. Borrow or lend? Do you know the difference? Well, these are two words that I hear students confuse a lot, even my advanced students, but they're pretty common words. I think you'll use them quite a lot or hear them quite a lot. And in that case, you need to understand their difference. And don't worry, it's really simple. You'll have no problem understanding by the end of this lesson. Now, I'm recording this video because my awesome student Clara requested it. So thanks so much, Clara, for your request. And if there are any videos that you would like me to record, just leave it in the comments and I'll add them to my list. Now, let's go back to my original question for you at the beginning. Hey, can you borrow me your car? What do you think about this sentence? Can you borrow me your car? Do you think that this sentence is correct or incorrect? Put your answers in the comments. So you can say right or wrong, thumbs up, thumbs down, yes or no, whatever you need. Put your answer in the comments. Hey, can you borrow me your car? Did you get your answer in the comments? Okay, this is what I hear quite a lot from students even really advanced students, but I have to break it to you. That's incorrect. And to a native speaker, it's like, what? Borrow me, huh? It does not sound good. It's because the sentence structure is incorrect, okay? So while I'm explaining the difference between borrow and lend, you really need to pay attention to that sentence structure. So let's start with borrow. Now, when you use borrow, you need to understand that you're the one receiving the item. Let's compare that to lend. When you use lend, you're the one giving the item. Now let's take a look at the sentence structure. With borrow, you borrow something. You borrow something. This is why my original sentence sounded so weird. It might not sound weird to you, but trust me, to a native speaker, that just sounds like nails on a chalkboard because that's not the sentence structure. You do not borrow someone, okay? When I said, can you borrow me your car? Can you borrow me your car? That's incorrect sentence structure but there's a really easy fix. All you need to do is get rid of the someone because it's borrow something, right? So to make my original sentence correct, what would I need to do? Now remember, with borrow, you receive. So as a question, it would be, can I borrow your car? because I'm the one receiving the car. So can I borrow your car? Can I receive your car temporarily, of course? So let me know in the comments. Can I borrow your car? So now it's your turn to practice borrow. Okay, so let me start you off with the beginning of the sentence. Can I borrow? We're going to use this as a question form. So put in the comments, can I borrow and fill in the blank. So you need to identify the something. It could be anything. Can I borrow your cell phone charger, your 
pen, your earrings. Can I borrow $50? It can be anything. Put your example in the comments to make sure you practice this structure. Now let's compare the sentence structure with lend. This is why these two are confused because with lend, you lend someone something. So with lend, we have the someone identified, okay? So perhaps I'm feeling really generous and I say to you, I can lend you my car this weekend. I can lend you my car this weekend. Because remember, with lend, you give. So I'm giving my car. That's as a positive statement. I can lend you, lend someone something. I can lend you my car this weekend. All right, so now it's time for you to practice lend. Now, with lend as an offer is going to be as a positive statement. I can lend you, and then we need the something. We can change our subject, right? It could be, she can lend you, she can lend him, my boss can lend my coworker. We can play around with those subjects, okay? But make sure your sentence structure is subject, lend, someone, something. So put your example in the comments to practice. So what are you going to offer to lend me? I'm excited to find out. Now one important note before we wrap up, let's go back to my beginning sentence, which was incorrect. Can you borrow me your car? Hmm, can you borrow me your car? So that sentence is incorrect, but there's another way we can change this sentence to make it a question. And that question would be, can you lend me your car? Can you lend me your car? So notice, although lend means to give, notice that subject, right? Can you lend me? So although lend means to give, you're the one giving and I'm the one receiving, right? So in that case, can you lend me your car is exactly the same as, do you know what I'm about to say? It's exactly the same as, put it in the comments if you do, huge bonus points if you get this. Can you lend me your car is exactly the same as, can I borrow your car? So you may need to pause the video and think about it because you need to keep in mind the direction of who is giving, who's receiving, and you need to pay attention to that sentence structure as well. So that's a final exercise you can do before you leave in the comments, write your own example using the two different questions, although keep in mind that they mean exactly the same thing. So try that out and see if you can get that as well. All right, awesome job. Now you know the difference between borrow and lend, and you can confidently use them in your speech. And of course, I would be happy to lend you anything that you need. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforestenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. Now, I'm not lending you this guide because you can keep it permanently. And remember, lend is temporary, which means I own it and you're borrowing it. But that's not what's happening here. I'm giving you this free guide. You can download it for free from my website. And in this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. Hey, way to go. Now you know the difference between lend and borrow and you're not going to make the very common mistake that I hear students make. 
awesome job today. I hope you had fun learning with me and make sure you subscribe and until next time, bye.